What's up everybody, this is Stormwolf2816 for Wolfpack Productions on YouTube, doing another GTA 5 video today. Uh, this time around I'm going to be voicing a theory I have as to why the Grove Street families are no longer present in GTA 5 and why the gangs like the Vagos and the Balas are still around and are apparently thriving, even though in San Andreas we did pretty much drive them to the point of extinction. Uh, the only theory I can come up with is that sometime after the end of San Andreas, the Balas started making some type of comeback. And possibly CJ and Sweet were much, much older now. And CJ not wanting to get into another gang war, fearing for his family's safety, would probably try to convince them to leave because he had a garage in San Fierro and he was business partners with the Chinese Triad and Wu Mu in Los Venturas. So there would have been no real reason for him to stay here. I mean, the times are changing. He's getting older. Sweet's getting older. They really have no place here anymore. But Sweet being the ever loyal, ever steadfast leader of the Grove Street families that he was, I think he would simply refuse to leave Grove Street, leave his gang behind, and he was possibly killed during one of the other gang wars which saw the Vagos and the Ballas return. After Sweet's death, CJ, fearing for his sister, would probably convince her and her husband, Caesar, to leave, the, would leave Grove Street, leave San, Los Santos, and move to somewhere where they would be safer, somewhere where they actually have something to build with, something like the garage in San Fierro or even the casino in Las Venturas. Because as we can see here, there are no Grove Street family left. So it can only stand to reason that with Sweet dead and CJ gone, that lacking any type of real leadership, the Grove Street families were not as strong as they used to be, couldn't resist the Balas and the Vagos, and were systematically destroyed any survivors would have fled or possibly even changed colors and joined the other gang, uh, if only to keep themselves safe and any of their relations or friends who were in the gang keep them safe as well. But as we can see, the times would then change. Uh, Los Santos would, you know, continue to grow and evolve, and as we can see how the neighborhood has changed, CJ's old house is now demolished. That could be that maybe during the war that killed Sweet, it could be that the house was severely damaged, and without CJ or anyone there to take care of it, it was just simply demolished. Because as we can see, they even changed the way the street layout is, and they even removed the overpass. So the neighborhood continued to evolve even though, even without the others being around, even without the families being around. And with the families now being completely absent, the Vagos and the Balas were allowed to return, they were allowed to flourish, and they just simply came in and took over all the territory that their rivals had had in the past. Um, there is the reference to them in the mission, in the story mode, I forget the name of it, and where Lamar talks about them possibly being CEOs and Franklin comments they could be dead. Uh, but that's just my theory, that's just what I think about it, is that uh, maybe there was, uh, shortly after San Andreas ended, the Ballas tried to make a resurgence. They came to Grove Street, Sweet tried to fight them off, he died, and CJ, fearing for the, for the family he had left, would have simply made them get out of Los Santos, made them get out and go somewhere where they wouldn't have to deal with all the gang-related things that they had going on in the past, simply as a way of keeping them all safe, keeping them all alive, because it would just simply wouldn't have been worth it. Um, feel free to post your own theories. Um, if anybody knows more about this than I do, please leave it in the comments. I'm, I would love to hear what you think, or if you know what happened, I'd love to know about it. Because, like I said, I really do like this series. Uh, I'd like CJ and the Grocery families back in the day. Um, and I would really like to know what happened to them. Maybe Rockstar will eventually release something that will tell us what happened to them, where they are now, if they're even still alive. Because there was the little easter egg in GTA 4 where you can find all their names written on a wall saying we will never forget you. Which, you know, kind of makes it seem like they were probably dead at this time. Uh, but anyway, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later!